Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Flux. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this uh, beautiful uh, warm gear assembly in Fusion 360. So uh, as you guys can see, uh, so uh, both of the gear, the warm wheel and the warm uh, gear, they are meshing beautifully without having any closures. So uh, I will not be uh, uh, making this frame. This is just for the decoration purpose. I will be teaching you uh, how to make this assembly and how to, especially how to animate this and take care of all the gear ratios and all. But before we start, uh, uh, let me remind you that we have not monetized our channel. And the only way I am earning is through the donation for my viewers, uh, which are hardly any donations. Yeah, uh, to be honest. So, so uh, uh, in order to get this channel running and just for the motivation purpose, it would be really appreciated if you guys can support. Uh, and you can find the description in the uh, uh, details uh, for donation in the description below. So let this start it and switch to new workspace. We start with the warm uh, wheel. Uh, now before we start let me tell you one thing that in order to make the design process uh, much more simpler and especially in the later part of the video the assembly part where we will be doing the assembly so just to uh, avoid confusion and to make process much more simpler i'm going to make all the assemblies and all the drawings uh, with respect to the origin point so and so that uh, our draw design uh, is symmetric to top and uh, uh, the front and bottom plane. <clears throat> so let's get started. We will create a sketch here on the front plane. Draw a vertical line onto the left side of 150 mm, like this. Now, once done, uh, just let me just drag this downwards. Uh, we we are going to create a sketch. something like this so two step here one step here now once done press d for dimension and keep let's start giving this dimension this is going to be 60 this is going to be 15 this is going to be 20 and <coughs> the distance from this point to this point is going to be 9 this is also uh, is going to be 8 this point to this point is going to be 9 and this point to this point is going to be 9.5 now you can take a snap of this or you can pause the video here and this will give you an idea that, uh, which is dimension so once you then you you can see the uh, sketch is now closed and fully constrained now once done you can finish the sketch go to revolve select this and access would be the bottom line and revolve it and select it as a new component and press ok this is going to be our warm uh, uh, warm gear so let me rename it to warm gear now what i'm going to do is i will create an offset plate right on this surface here so i will create an offset plane at a random distance i think the file would be okay so this is basically this is the process uh, this is the exact plane where we will start making our uh, uh, warm gear so it, it really doesn't matter right so once done <clears throat> what i'm going to do is so we will be needing a helix but we don't have a helix uh, uh, option in fusion 360 yet. Uh, uh, but we do have the coil function so i'm going to use the coil uh, in order to uh, get the helix then we will be using some swipe command uh, to make a sketch and all that, that's a little part of the video so let's get started we'll go to create and go to coil select this uh, plane that you have just created so we are not in a sketch it, it will just ask you to define the origin so go back to back plane and origin and draw a circle <coughs> of uh, 9.5 multiplied by 2 that would be 19 mm like this yeah now first of all the operation would be new body not not no not necessary for new component so we are going to uh, create the helix on this side so that means the height would be in uh, in negative and the type would be uh, height and pitch so here the diameter would be 19 the height depends upon the length you can is up to you now the pitch is going to be uh, so we are working on left side so it's going to be negative 6 now uh, what what i'm going to do is i will decrease the size as a section size for now let's make it two and for the triangle uh, you will be uh, selecting the internal triangle so reason uh, why i'm doing this is 
uh, we need to make the helix. So the section position would be outside like this. So if you see here, uh, when uh, when we put this all these detail, you will see the triangle that is being made. It top edges lies on the surface of this uh, uh, rod, right? That that's what we need. We need to extract that particular edge. So like I told you, the distance is up to you. The only thing that uh, necessary here is the pitch, right? We, because in order to uh, mesh the two gear is obviously that they, they should have an equal pitch between their two uh, teeth. Now, once done, you will click on OK, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an, any sketch in, on any random plane. Now, again, switch back to isometric. You can hide this form gear for now. I will go to create. I will go to project include and include 3D geometry and will select this internal edge which was lying on the surface of the, our rod. Now once done you may finish the sketch and let me just hide this body and here you go. Now we have the uh, a helix form where our uh, uh, teeth will start. Right. So now uh, what I am going to do. So our point is here. So I am going to create a surf. Um, sketch on the uh, top plane from this exact point uh, so this is the this will be the profile of the tooth right we are going to uh, so um, press a uh, make a line press D for dimension and no first make it this coincident with this point like this, this is going to be our center line for our uh, in, um, profile. On this line, draw a circle of 2 mm dia. Press D for dimension from this point to this point. This dimension is going to be 3.5 like this. And press line again. Draw a line somewhere here. Make sure uh, if, you, if you hide the body, make sure it's, it, it lies beyond this particular edge of the uh, wheel. Now press go to constraint, go to symmetry. I'm going to make a symmetry of these two points with respect to this line. Once done, you can define this length of this line as 3.8. Okay. Now the next step is obviously uh, I'm going to uh, create another, another line with this point. So let me make another line. Uh, like this and I will coincident it again with this point right. now I am going to create one line from this point to this point and press a line again and draw a vertical line from this point I am going to make this line coincident with this point and I want a tangent relationship between this one and this one. Now once turn, I'm going to trim this extra part of the line and go to mirror, select this line and this line and this line and click on this will be the midline and OK. Now if you uh, just make sure that your sketch and the reason I'm extended this sketch in order to just to avoid uh, just to make sure that when we swipe the profile, it lies completely on this surface, right? So once your profile is finished, you can finish this sketch. Now I'm going to make some sweep here. So I will go to sweep command. And I will choose this uh, path and guide surface. So this is going to be our profile. So choose the profile that you want to extrude. This is going to be our path and guide surface is going to your body. So just uh, bring back the body you have created and for the guide surface, select any face to act as a guide. This is going to be our guide surface. Now before making the operation as join, make sure to hide the body one. Otherwise it will get joined with its instead of uh, at, uh, getting joined with the warm gear. OK, so the, the swipe might take some time. Now just hide the body uh, of the surface that we made and choose the operation uh, as join. So let me just uh, give it some time. Actually, I'm really running a shitty uh, laptop from like it's, it's like 12 year old. Now I will join and let's wait a few seconds more. Now once done, 
uh, you see uh, yeah it's it, it's it's looking quite good now once done you may press ok and here you go yeah yeah this looks fine so i'm not going to uh, make the chamfer and fill it here you guys can take care of it so this is this will be our warm gear and let's start uh, with the warm wheel yeah so before starting press shift n and and the fusion will automatically give the color so uh, in order to avoid confusion so let me hide this body for now and we will sketch on the front plane press c for circle and we are going to make two circles like this for the outer circle i'm going to give this a radius of a dia of 57 and for the smaller circle this would be 30 mm and draw a line like from here to here and we are going to make a center point rectangle here from this point so just make a random uh, sketch like this i'm not going to deal with the dimension this is just for the key slot for the gear okay so you will you will understand right now so i'm going to extrude it and the extrude distance is going to be symmetric like i told you during the initial uh, part of the video that we are going to make everything symmetric the measurement will be whole length and the distance of extrusion is going to be 22.7 and this is going to be our new component and press ok now uh, we can rename this as warm wheel warm wheel yeah now what i'm going to do is and for the next step what i'm going to do is i will create another step uh, sketch on the front plane on the right plane sorry and i will draw a line vertical line like this and on this line i will draw a circle of 21 mm dia and i will give this dimension from the origin as 52 you may finish the sketch like this i'm going to revolve this with the x axis i think and i'm going to revolve cut it uh, <coughs> yeah there you go <coughs> now uh, now uh, let me uh, bring back that sketch that we have just created yeah here you go now what i'm going to do is uh, we are going to make a helix again and this time i will tell you the reason here if you go to this top view of the gear you will see let me hide this one you see that uh, the gear profiles the slots that are cut in the warm wheel they are not per uh, perpendicular to the ground uh, but they are uh, tilted slightly uh, towards side so this is in order to make sure that it matches perfectly with the the tooth for the warm uh, gear itself because these are uh, profiled in a spiral way so we have to make sure that the uh, cutout uh, matches the same uh, taper that they have in the warm gear right so what i'm going to do is i will create a uh, another spline right on top of this profile so i will go to create go to coil select this surface and go to back view and i'm going to create this spline from here of the 21 mm dia now once done again make sure it's a new body now this time the type is going to be revolution and pitch and uh, and revolution we are going to make it 0 0.25 and the pitch like i told you previously pitch it will is going to be same it's going to be six and the section side let decreases to just in order to get a, a better profile yeah so now once done uh here here is our profile now what 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 i want uh, i like like we did earlier we are going to use this internal edge the top portion of the triangle but now our problem is we need to make the helix uh, from this point not from this point but uh, the fusion automatically prefers i think uh, i might be wrong but uh, whenever i try to make this profile it automatically pits either the left or the right edges to make the helix even if i uh, just uh, rotate it uh, towards other side that then also it happens right so what i'm going to do is <coughs> i will keep it like that only 
and press ok now in order to make to make sure that this helix starts from this point uh, we are going to uh, make use of move and copy select move and copy select bodies this is going to be our body and from the pivot point i am going to select this edge once selected press turn make sure the pivot is selected on uh, as a center of this circle you can click on back and i will rotate it 90 degree downwards like this so that this profile starts from right right from uh, middle of the uh, circle uh, sorry the bottom of the circle where is exactly touches uh, with the surface of our uh, cut that we have made okay now once done uh, here here you go right uh, now we will repeat the same step uh, for the other side as well so i will go to create i will go to coil uh, again repeat the same step like we did but this time we are going to create the helix for the other side now once done we will uh, make sure the revolution is 0 0.25 the pitch is 6 let's make the section size it doesn't matter uh, we can choose it any one uh, any value we want so make it 2 now we are going to do the exactly the same but this side so I'm going to uh, change the revolution uh, let's just select new body I think this will not work we have to imagine let me just switch switch this body off uh, actually what what i'm going to imagine is uh, so if we if we look onto this body the first one so we have to make sure that it goes with the continuity of the profile i think yeah yeah this would work yeah okay i got the yeah. so let me bring back this body <coughs> now what i'm going to do is i will move this body as well set the pivot point at the bottom of this origin that's okay now bring back go to back view rotate this to 90 degree i okay okay, okay, okay. i think I, I i no 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 actually i i, I think i messed up with some thing let me just edit the details again and <clears throat> this is going to be that way so this will go that way let me revolve it uh, this is going to be revolution minus 0 0.25 and it also is going to be negative 6 uh, I think that, that would work let me imagine if I now let's switch off the rotation like this. Uh, yeah, here you go. This seems okay. Let me hide the first body we created. Now move it. Move this body. Select the pivot point or the bottom of the circle. Press OK and rotate this at at a degree of 90 and press OK. Now if I just bring back the body and just hide this warm wheel for now you can see uh, that's what i wanted to do uh, let me just hide this so now you see after uh, a perfectly matching it this profile is pro uh, following a perfect curve between them so that that's what i wanted that's why i was trying uh, different uh, ways in order to you know if this part is the most confusing part of this you will get an idea when you do it yourself you will figure it out just make sure that this profile uh, the continuity of this profile should remain the same now once done <coughs> what i'm going to do is let's hide this body for now and bring back your warm wheel like this i'm going to create a sketch here at the center of the point <coughs> so but before that let me hide this again and bring back these two body i will i'm going to extract those curves right so go to any sketch switch to isometric view while remaining in the sketch let me hide this sketch and go to create go to include 3d geometry and select this curve and this curve and you may finish the sketch now if i avoid the body we we are remains with the curve right so bring back the <coughs> warm wheel again now i'm going to go to create a sketch uh, go to front plane or the right plane 
yeah right plane i am going to create an sketch right here <coughs> on the center of this circle so press l again i am going to draw one vertical line like this let me hide this to avoid confusion and make it <coughs> uh, tangent to uh, uh, sorry coincident to this point <coughs> now <coughs> Let's let's make it uh, coincident to this point as well. Now again, we will start by making a circle of dia 3.6 like this on top of this line, and press L again and draw a line like we did in previous case. Go to constraint, go to symmetry. I will make them. Symmetric with this center line. Press D again and give this a dimension of uh, actually let's let's give it from center. So from center line to this point, this dimension is going to be 3.45 like this. Now I am going to create a three-point arc. The first point is going to be on circle. The second point is going to be somewhere here and. Uh, like this three point r press d and give this a dimension of radius 18 mm and just slide it inwards okay our our circle got shifted down so let me just drag it upwards and we have to sometime the arc messes uh, with things so I have to manually you know align it like this yeah this seems good now press tangent relationship between these two uh, so now uh, that is tangent <coughs> now from press D and from this point to this point uh, I need this dimension as 1.34 uh, this is the point where the arc, uh, this three point arc meets with the circle. And for the another uh, point, is going to be this point. Press D again, and from this point to this point. Uh, we need this dimension as 4.65 uh, okay something went wrong I think I have messed with something let me just try again okay 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 I, I got it uh, we don't need this tangent relationship so I am just going to delete this tangent relationship we don't need that tangent relationship and uh, 4.65 is going to be this one and just drag it inwards like this now what I'm going to do is I will create a vertical line from this point the bottom line that we have just created and I will make it coincident with this line like this now if I bring back the home gear again let me just confirm that this uh, particular line lies beyond this point so this is the point where we have uh, if i just slice this you will see so this is the point that we are going to make sure so our line uh, has to be below this perfect surface so that when we uh, swipe cut it uh, we, we are making sure that entire surface is getting uh, properly cut out so let me just hide this for now Now the uh, next step is uh, you see uh, our sketch is not yet constrained we can still make me uh, move up the circle so I will press D and from the center of this circle to our origin point or the center of your warm wheel uh, I'm going to give this dimension give this dimension as 39.13 Let me bring back the
okay okay i i think that i messed up something again but i have an idea actually this profile this line should be on uh, onto the other side as for the for now but what i'm going to do is i will create a line here and i will uh, create a mirror of these three lines with respect to this one so that will automatically create a copy on that uh, surface then i'm going to delete this profile and this line and this line obviously and this one also and i'm going to rename uh, all the dimensions again this is going to be 1.34 from this point to this point this is going to be 4.65 <clears throat> and this point to this point this is going to be 3.45 and go to constraint go to symmetry uh, select this one and this one and this one <coughs> now once done uh, just connect these point this point to this point and i'm going to mirror this line and this line with respect to the center line and press ok just give this a radius of 80 as well you know once done press t for trim and select the extra part of the circle uh, that we don't need not this one press t again delete this one this one and just let me put it like this so we, we will be left with this circle and this is going to be a warm wheel right so now once done i'm going to finish the sketch and this is the warm wheel and this was the surface that i'm going to make swipe of so i will go to create go to swipe and again in order to swipe we need to get this surface so i will select the guidance surface uh, path and select this as the profile and this is going to be our first path and this is going to be our guide surface and this is going to be a, a cut operation Okay, 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 something, I think there's something went wrong here. Let me, okay, yeah, now I know what went wrong. We need to, let me just decrease this length like this. Let's finish the sketch again. Let me try sweeping it again. I think I think okay 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 I I messed up with another thing let me go back to the sketch and let me just slice it let me try to figure out that why what I went uh, what I did wrong here I think that I I, I did something wrong here let me check okay i think uh, i have rechecked the sketch and uh, all the things uh, uh, seems okay so let me let me try uh, doing the sweep again might be something that i uh, i misselected something uh, that i should have not so go to uh, again uh, i will go to uh, sweep select uh, this is going to be our path and uh, sorry profile this is going to be our path and for the guide surface uh, I will bring back this body and this is going to be our body and make sure I will hide this body and make sure the cut is complete I think that this is now okay 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 yeah yeah th this, this was good actually I, I think that uh, previously I might have missed something while selecting so bring back the other body and the sketch and I will do the same for uh, this point so go to swift uh, select this this is going to be our path and this is going to be our surface and just hide the body <coughs> and here you go and press cut now just hide the sketch we don't need to. now you, you see we have a smooth curve and just in order to inspect that whether we have created a proper uh, cut 
which has a continuous curvature or not you can always check to zebra analysis and select on this now you see uh, the zebra line of this surface and this surface they are equally matching and in line with the uh, its adjacent surface right so we have a proper smooth surfaces of here so this this shows that our cut is uh, uh, in line with the other one now once done we are going to create a circular pattern and for this the object type i am going to be selecting i should have uh, i should select uh, features but but i don't know why uh, when we select features uh, and we uh, multiple the the feature as for a circular pattern it it give it is giving some error so just to be on safe side i am going to select the object type as face and i am going to select all the internal face of this cut that we have just made like this so total there will be 12 face and the axis is going to be the center one or you can also choose the circumference of this circle the quantity is going to be 44 and uh, once done you can press ok and depending on your system this might take a second or two uh, so let's let's give uh, give it some time uh, and we have our 44 uh, teeth here so now let's get back to warm gear and warm wheel now the next step is to create an assembly so let's just hide for this one so i'm going to make one two grounded component each for uh, both of the parts so on the center profile let's make a circle of any diameter it's up to you so just make sure to extrude it from center profile so you can uh, choose it like symmetric and operation would be new component press ok now make rename this as ground one and right click on it and grounded now this part cannot be moved like this way this can be moved uh, revert the position uh, again uh, go to create a sketch this time on the front plane I will create a line from origin from origin towards the top and on top of this we will draw another circle of any dia and the dimension of this line is going to be 51.376 so basically this dimension I got this from uh, by manually assembling both of those gears right so uh, you will see so just extrude this as well and select new component and press ok now make it as ground 2 make it at ground 2 right click on it and make it ground as well now we cannot move this we can move this and we can move this as well now once done go to joints now i will select the center of this profile so if you hover your mouse here and press control you will be able to select the center profile just press to keep pressing control and similarly do the one for this one also press control you will be able to select the center one center snap point like this and the motion is going to be revolute like this and press ok now we can uh, rotate our gear with respect to this then we don't need this part just hide it ok now uh, do the same with this one also so press joint select this circle and this point so that it will do it uh, now you have to manually align it so that it goes somewhere in between the center i think this seems okay now press ok now uh, that before i make the two joints what you have to do is uh, you have to make sure that uh, your uh, inclination the angle of your tooth between the warm and warm gear remains the same so if it's going from left to right the uh, warm wheel should go like that only if, if, if it's opposite in case uh, uh, it's opposite then you can always while assembling these gears you can always uh, flip flip the gear so what flipping will do it will create a mirror image of by just by flipping it and you will find your gear in line uh, with the rotation so now once done what i will do is i will go to insert a uh, inspect and we will create a section analysis at the center uh, i am doing this just for just hide this ground we don't need just for the uh, so that we get, get exact same point uh, so that our teeth don't intersect with each other okay so uh, you see here 
so i will rotate this street and i will place it exactly at a plane uh, as a at a point where we cannot see any inter in intersection so i think this is it i don't see inter uh, any intersection here so once done uh, you can capture the position so that uh, fusion remain uh, remembers the last point that you have captured and switch off the analysis now you can uh, manually give it a look and uh, check whether we have any intersection or not i don't think we have any in, uh, interference between these two now once done once you are satisfied now i'm going to make a motion link so go to motion link select both of the joints the first one and the second one so like i told you during the initial uh, part of this video so the gear ratio is going to be number of teeth on the worm gear divided by number of teeth on the worm wheel so that means we have 44 teeth on the worm wheel and this teeth on the worm gear doesn't matter how long your helix is this will always be considered as a single teeth so our gear, gear ratio is 1 is to 44 so that means uh, if uh, in order to rotate this yellow wheels one times we have to rotate our uh, worm gear the pink one uh, 44 times so this revolute 5 obviously the second one is that is for warm gear and the revolute 4 the first uh, joint we selected was with the uh, warm wheel so now uh, if we rotate uh, revolute 5 the one for the pink one 360 degrees that means the revolute 4 will rotate 360 divided by 44 times and there you go now uh, in case you are getting uh, opposite uh, animation then you can always select on this reverse command but uh, for now we are fine you can see the gear are uh, moving uh, in the right direction with respect to each other and we can press ok now you see if i try to move one of them the auto the other wheel will automatically move and without any uh, meshing so th they are in perfect synchronization with each other so this is how you animate uh, 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 warm gear assembly in Fusion 360 and you can always press shift and n and give it uh, a color of your choice by going to appearances so hope you guys will enjoy the video do comment any queries and if you want to access this 3d file the link for my email id is in the description below you can always reach out to me and thank you and once again this channel does not runs on any monetization so only any voluntary donation will be much appreciated so hope you guys will enjoy the video. Thank you and have a nice day.